Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Day Classic, and we're back at it again with the big finale for Martial Arts Month. And it's finally time to review Karate Men. That's right, Jess. But it's too bad these figures are too old to have a proper karate fight. What do you mean, Gorilla? The only reason I wanted to review these dirty old dolls is so I could have my rematch. Jesse, do you think this rematch thing might be not about you versus me, but you versus you? You know what, Gorilla? I, I think you're getting brain damage, you know that? Hey, really, I'm speaking the truth here, Jess. Are you? I don't think I want to hear this, Gorilla. Look, Jess, you were a great karate fighter, no doubt about that, but we've got to face facts, too. You may not want to believe it, but... Maybe the show's over for these old figures. Man, that's easy for you to say. You're still on top. What happens when you're not on top? Then what? Where do we go, Gorilla? Because we sure as hell can't buy these brand new again. I know we can't buy them new again, but we gotta change sometime. I don't want to change. I like who I am. I like who you are, too. And, and you may not want to believe this, but you gotta face facts. These figures, we can't play with them anymore. They're changing into collectibles. No, Gorilla, maybe you think they're changing, but you can't change what you really are. And you can forget all these new toys and stuff you got all around you, man, because it doesn't change a thing. You and me, we don't got a choice. See, we're born with a killer instinct. You can't just turn off and on like some, some radio. We have to be right there in the middle of the action. Cause we the warriors, and without some, some challenge, without some damn war to fight, then the warrior may as well be dead, Gorilla. So I'm asking you, as a friend, karate fight me one last time. You know, you're a great talker, Jess. When this is over... <laughs> you know me, Gorilla. I always think of something else. Well then, let's get to the review. It's the Karate Man from Aurora from 1975. Raz Holly, hit the music! Well, just like I promised, after almost two years, it's the Karate Men by Aurora. I was having a conversation with YouTube megastar Raz Holly, and I brought up Milton Bradley's Karate Fighters. I subsequently went to eBay to find a photo and came across the Karate Men. What's with all the extra A's? The world may never know. Anyhow, I kept my eyes on a decent set that was a little well loved but priced just right and before it got away I pulled the trigger and the Karate Men were mine. Aurora Plastics Company, founded in 1950, is probably best known for their model kits they produced from the 50s through the late 70s, bought and sold over and over, eventually purchased by a company that went bust in 1980. Models may have been what comes to mind for those familiar with the company, but while the model maker was owned by Nabisco of all companies, an attempt was made to branch out into toys and games, and that's where the Karate Men come in. Karate Men, or Karate Men, or Karate Men, is a genius combination of toy and game. Each player takes control of their own Karate Man, who are pretty friggin' big, about the size of a vintage G.I. Joe or thereabouts. They're dressed in real geese and have flocked hair. The goal is to knock out the other player by striking the head or body just right as to knock the figure back. It's essentially an evolved version of Rock'em Sock'em Robots. My set looks like it's been rode hard and put away wet, but seems to work just fine. So let's take a look at my Karate Men by Aurora from 1975. Karate men? Karate men, yes. What do you call one of your educational toys there? This is an educational toy? Karate men? Yes, it is. And I'll tell you why. Well, this toy learns you how to survive in a stinko world. Okay? Not only that, when you wipe the buttons here, see, this develops what you call your digital skills. I'll show you what I mean. See the left-hand button over there? Yeah, that one there, see... That's where you can bust a rip, huh? See? Now, the right one here, this is the one where you can bust a face like that and that and that, huh? 
Here's the greatest one of all, the middle one at the back, see? With this one here, this is how you really give a guy a cauliflower crouch, see? Yeah. All right, so here are the Karate Men by Aurora. Um, what a, a, a great pair of things. These are really big figures. I couldn't fit them in my photo booth, so I had to kind of rearrange things um, here to, to get a, a good look at them. Um, they're, they're set up on these stands. They are kind of wired in with strings, and the strings are attached to the, the mechanical devices that are the Karate Men. And uh, when, you, when you use the controller on the base, um, the bottom part does a kick, and as you can see, ha! And uh, then one side controls the one arm, right controls right, and left controls left. And uh, if you can, and you have a couple points here that you want to try to strike on your karate man, one is the chest, and one is the head. Hit it hard enough, you knock the guy down, you get a point. And that is karate man. Um, we have flocked hair. Um, I've seen a picture of the ones uh, with the bald guy with flocked eyebrows. Mine didn't come with flocked eyebrows. He does have a little flocked mustache. Uh, my uh, full beard guy looks a little bit like old school G.I. Joe action team with his uh, flocked hair and beard. Very fucking cool. Um, the nice real cloth geese. Uh, you can take the top off. The bottom's a little tougher. I think you have to completely take the figure off of the base in order to change the pants on the fucking thing. Um, I had to replace one of the belts with a bit of fabric on this guy, so he ended up being a black belt. <laughs> I think originally the belts were black, um, and it, yeah, over time it faded. So yeah, these were well loved, well loved, but still work pretty well. You can still knock the crap out of each other with them. Um, I really, really love these things. Like, once I discovered that they existed, I really needed to fucking go out and grab these goddamn things um, because they're really cool because I didn't know they existed. I thought there was only ever karate fighters, but lo and behold, way back in 1975, years before I was born, there was the predecessor, a bigger, badder version of karate fighters, which was karate men. Well, that's Karate Men from 1975. Tell us what you thought of these figures down below. Well, I think it's time for you to go to school, Gorilla. Is that so? Damn right. I'm about to show you how karate fighting is done. Well, just remember, Jess, whatever I hit, I destroy. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's, tonight's special, special event, event features two great, two great athletes, athletes using, using the bald, the bald guy, guy, the former bald heavyweight bald champion of the world. the world. No, he's not. The dancing, the dancing destroyer, destroyer, the king, the king of, sting, of sting, the count the of Monte Fisto. Jesus Christ, do you got enough nicknames? Ah, patience, Gorilla. We're almost done. The master, the master of disaster, of disaster the, one the one and only Jesse V. <laughs> yeah! His opponent, using the beard guy and weighing in at at least 500 pounds! <laughs> hey, what the fuck? The current Karate Man champion from Southern California! The outrageous bull, Dan Classic! I want you! I want you! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, just ring the goddamn bell! Ha-ha! <laughs> Ooh, what's that, Gorilla? Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha! Don't! You will lose. Ow! Ooh! Don't! Ow! Don't! Ooh! Your guy can't take much more, you want to call it? Don't you dare stop this fight! Okay, stupid! Stop! Don't! Oh, shit! I changed my mind! Stop the fight! Stop the damn fight! No! I cannot, I cannot be, be defeated! defeated. 
If he's broken, he's broken.